print and total drama action really got screwed by the writers insistent to ruin the characters they currently have. It's a shame that this isn't the only series I'm gonna have to do this with, but I'm gonna have to revert Trent back to his island self because by episode 4 he's completely insane. I think episode 1 through 3 Trent are really good. I wouldn't mind if he still had an affinity for number 9 and loved Gwen, but he takes it too far to the extreme and that's why we need to change that. With that being said, let's get into episode 4. First things first, at the scene where Beth gives Trent a friendship bracelet, Trent would thank Beth instead of the whole... Friendship bracelet? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ugh. Much better. We don't get to see how Trent does on the challenge itself, so we will just assume he tried here and didn't get a very good score. With Owen saying that the other team is unstoppable, Trent says they can't shut down now, they can win if they really try, and they can defeat Duncan, I mean the gaffers. Owen actually gets hyped up by that. During the sandcastle building competition, Trent would still ask for one of the features to be 9, but he wouldn't be obsessive over everything being 9. Due to this, they won't need to rebuild the castle, but they are still the winners as Gaffer's sandcastle goes down. Trent would see Gwen and he asks if he looks cool or what. Gwen would say that they've only won one part of the challenge, now it's a tiebreaker. Trent tells her to bring it on, he's ready for anything. In the dance-off tiebreaker, Trent would actually end up winning as I take Chris's last statement to mean that if it continued normally, Trent would have won. Trent apologizes to Gwen and Gwen says that it's fine, he earned the win. Trent asks if he looked cooler than Duncan and Gwen says that if this is about proving he's better than Duncan, he doesn't have to worry about that. He's dating him, not Duncan. Trent would be approached by Justin who would say that he did really well in the challenge. He's happy that he isn't letting the breakup get to him. Trent asks what he means by that. Gwen and him are not broken up. Justin tells him to cool it. He just was mistaken is all. Even more impressive that he is able to balance out a love life and win for his team. He's definitely better than Duncan could have been. Justin says in confessional that he will milk the rivalry between Duncan and Trent for all it's worth. He then talks to Beth as normal. Episode 5 and I think the interaction between Gwen and Trent would go similar to in canon, but instead of being obsessive, Trent says that he wants them at their best at today's challenge so it will be satisfying when they win. Pretty much everything goes as normal in the horse riding challenge except Grips will go first instead of Gaffers. To not overly complicate things, Owen is still picked to do the quick draw shootout and he drinks all the water. Whatever reason for being picked, y'all can argue about in the comments. During the challenge, Trent would capture Gwen and Gwen would ask if they can take it easy on them for once and Trent apologizes before saying that going easy doesn't win you a million dollars. However, for whatever reason in canon, they all escape their ropes, so that wouldn't change and the grips would all be captured even still. Trent says that this isn't fair, they're the cowboys, and Duncan says that they must really suck at it then if they're being caught by the cattle. Trent talks to Gwen and instead of breaking up, Gwen asks if they're still cool and Trent says of course, it was just one loss. And anyway, it was just luck that they won since the ropes were just lying out for some reason. Gwen in confessional says that it would be nice for Trent to tell her good job at least. And the gilded Chris goes to Lindsay and Beth, Justin, and finally, Trent. Justin says sorry for voting you out, no hard feelings. Owen says that he could never stay mad at him and he hugs Justin. Lindsay and Beth say they'll miss him and Trent gives Owen his gilded Chris, saying he'll get more out of it than him. Owen hugs Trent and says he will miss him as well. Episode 7 would begin with Duncan trying to unlock the trailer and not being able to. Since Owen is in here, a lot of the issues wouldn't be present. Trent does say he hopes Gwen is okay though, she has claustrophobia. Duncan says whatever, don't you talk about anything else besides Gwen. Trent says if he hadn't noticed, she's his girlfriend. And Justin tells the ladies to relax, they just need to get some air. Trent would point out the vent in the roof and the guys would try climbing onto each other to escape, eventually asking where DJ was. Going into the challenge, they would get a choice of who to put in the prison. Gaffers would still choose Lindsay and Grips would put Duncan in because logically, Duncan is their strongest member for these types of scenarios. Trent would say to take a good long look of where he is. That's what his future will look like. The eating challenge goes almost exactly the same and Trent says that's so not fair. Beth made her puke, not the food. Chris says he doesn't care. Gaffers win round one. Duncan says that sometimes crime actually does pay. During the elimination challenge, Trent would say that they can't beat DJ. Justin, you have to do something. Justin says he may have an idea somewhere in his brain. DJ offers to push and Justin says that he respects DJ for that. I mean, him personally, he couldn't handle that pressure. I mean, what if he pushed it and lost it for them? He'd be voted out for sure. DJ says he better lie down and jumps in. Gwen would ask Duncan if he could push and Duncan would say over his dead body. 
Lashana says he's such a gentleman and Duncan asks when he ever said he was one. Heather ends up having to push it for the gaffers while Trent decides to push for the grips. Due to Owen not being in it, the grips are able to beat the gaffers normally and when the digging begins, Justin says he can't do this, he'll get a hangnail. Trent says he has to try and Justin says he can't do it, he'll just have to handle losing to Duncan. Trent says he'll never lose to him again and dual wields the spoons as he shuffles with double speed. Izzy would still show up, but the gaffers would still lose, and Trent would say it seems like he escaped prison first. Take that, Duncan. Duncan says whatever, you wouldn't survive a day in actual prison. Izzy would join the killer grips. Gwen would say it's pretty obvious who's leaving today, and Heather would say they need her. She's an easy vote in a future challenge. Duncan would say she does have a point, but Lashana would say we only picked you so he wouldn't have to vote one of us off. Heather says that they're making a big mistake. I mean, they're keeping Trent and Gwen in the game. Duncan says that's another fair point. He just doesn't care. At elimination, Chris says that he's tallied the votes. Duncan, DJ, Lashana, and Harold, another award and another day to compete. Tonight's final gilded Chris and another chance at a million goes to... Gwen. Heather says whatever. When Gwen, Trent, and Duncan take over, don't come crying to her. Episode 8 really isn't that important, and Lashana still wins the reward after crying. Episode 9 and Trent and Gwen would be playing cards, and Trent would ask why they would keep Duncan in. Gwen would ask if he remembers what Heather did, and Trent says sure, but... Gwen would interrupt him and say, but nothing. She kissed you and tricked you into thinking I was lying to you. Trent would ask if it was a pride thing, and Lashana would say that Heather had it coming. She's surprised he can't see that. Trent says that he just thinks Duncan should have been the one gone is all. I mean, he made it to the final four last time and he worked with Heather. Gwen tells him to shut it. She can't believe him. And Lashana says that his jealousy is getting a bit too much for her. Other than that difference though, there's very little reason to believe that much would change. Grips would still lose, Justin would talk to Trent and tell him that he values him as a leader, as a result they should vote Lindsay. Trent would agree and thank him for believing in him. Justin would say in confessional that he doesn't actually care, but Trent has insecurities he can play with. As long as he stays loyal, he has a free pass to the final three with Trent and Gwen, and then at that point he can beat either of them. Before the final gilded Chris could be passed out, DJ tells Chris to stop and he reveals he has been cheating. DJ quits the competition, saving either Lindsay or Justin from being eliminated. Episode 10 doesn't really matter, with the only exception being that Owen's jaw won't break this episode because it would be hard for him to do that if he's not here. Episode 11 and Lashana wouldn't have drank Owen's medicine so they wouldn't have to leave the foxhole, but Trent would say that his grandfather used to tell him stories about war times. They were pretty vague, but he remembers him screaming at night that they were in the trees and in the ground. Maybe they dug a hole or something. Justin says it's actually clever thinking, and Lindsay gives him a pep talk to go into battle and they all rush in and raid the camp, taking the treasure and beating the gaffers. This episode though, the girls are not liking Justin anymore and Trent says that maybe he needs to freshen things up with something new. I mean, imagine eating the same thing every day. Even if you love it, it'll get old. Justin says it's very wise actually. How about he gives him some tips too? If he wants Duncan gone, he has to make it her idea, not his. Trent says he's so right before leaving to talk to Gwen. Justin would say in confessional that maybe Trent isn't just some love-obsessed idiot. Okay, he is, but even broken clocks are right a few times a day or something like that. Trent tells Gwen that they were really close to winning. She's sure they will get it next time. Gwen tells him thanks. She's surprised he's being so nice about it. Trent says he's sorry for being such a jerk. He was jealous of Duncan, but if he's her friend, that's cool. And maybe he has been letting the game get to him a bit too much. Well, that's all I wanted to say. I wouldn't know who to choose between Lashana and Harold. I mean, Lashana did lie to get the reward, but Harold is, well, Harold. Gwen says that's true. She wishes there was an easier option. Trent says that if she did save Lashana, though, she would probably be indebted to you. Gwen asks if he truly thinks so, and Trent says he knows so. So, I guess you're voting Harold, then. Gwen would tell Lashana that she still hasn't forgiven her, but she does want to try and save her. Lashana says, really? Man, that would be great. Gwen says on one condition though, we'd have to vote Harold. Lashana says, why Harold? He won us the last challenge. Gwen says that's true, but... Lashana says, and he came up with the idea of the foxhole, which almost won us that challenge as well. What has Duncan done besides give us a bad attitude? You know how strong that boy is, and how about this? You get rid of Duncan and I promise on the next vote, I'll save you instead of Harold. Girlfriends for life, you get me? Gwen says alright then, girlfriends for life. At elimination, Chris says that the votes are in. The ones who are safe are Harold, Gwen, and finally, Lashana. You are safe. Duncan says what? Really? Me instead of Lashana? Gwen says she's sorry and Duncan says whatever, Trent must have gone to you or something. 
Gwen says that for your information, Trent says he was cool with us being friends. Duncan says, yeah, right, he was probably just trying to make you think that so you'd feel like this was your choice and not his. Whatever, get me out of here. Harold says in confessional that sure, he wanted Lashana gone, but getting rid of Duncan only comes around once in a lifetime. Episode 13 and Lashana would get bagged and Trent would get bagged as all the others are swooning over Justin's new mojo. The grips wouldn't leave Trent behind unlike the gaffers who would leave Lashana behind and so the gaffers would win the first part while Trent says they're wasting too much time and to go without him. Justin says okay if he insists before leaving. Courtney would go into the grips since they arrived next to Harold's dismay, saying that they deserved it since they only had three members. Chris says sorry, you get the reward and they get the Courtney. The grips would do a lot better, but the go-kart would still break down at the end due to the inexperience of everyone involved, and the gaffers would win. Everyone would vote Courtney, but Courtney would vote Izzy, eliminating her from the competition. Episode 14 is a non-elimination, so it doesn't really matter. Episode 15 and gaffers would win the first part. Harold and Lindsay would still face off in the second, with Harold winning it for the grips. Beth would beat Gwen and Badminton and would reveal that Lashana was talking trash on her spa day. Courtney would face off against Lashana and despite Lashana's best effort, she would lose to Courtney after Courtney hits a cheap shot. Lashana would ask Gwen if the deal's still good and Gwen says to dream on. She'd call out for Harold and Harold would just not respond. At elimination, Chris would say that it was a unanimous vote. Even Lashana voted for herself, so Gwen and Harold, you are safe. Lashana tells him that she's truly sorry for what she did. She just hopes they can accept her apology one day before leaving. Episode 16 is a non-elimination episode, but Trent would tell Gwen that he's glad they could be okay, even on separate teams. Gwen would say she's happy too, she just wishes she had more of her team to celebrate with. Trent says it's okay, he has Justin in his corner and you have Harold, that makes four. Gwen says that's a thing, she doesn't know how much she likes Justin being in his corner, he has that evil look to him. Trent says that if she really wants him gone, they can make it work, but he just wants to make sure it's what she truly wants, and Gwen says sorry, but he needs to go. I mean, he will win any vote if the final challenge is that. Justin overhears this and goes to Courtney and asks to talk. Episode 17 and I don't think Gwen nor Trent would be enough and Courtney would win. Gwen would get Trent and Harold to vote Justin and Justin would ask Trent if the plan is still to vote off Beth and he says of course. Justin knows he is lying and has Beth, Courtney, Lindsay and himself vote Gwen and she gets blindsided and Trent says he has no idea this would happen. Someone must have flipped and Justin says better luck next time Gwen as she leaves. Trent asks why he would do that and Justin says he's one to talk trying to blindside him. Beth says yeah, that's seriously uncool. Episode 18 isn't important and episode 19 would have Justin trying to form a guy's alliance, telling Trent that he doesn't want this to get in between them. Besides, this is the only real option if he doesn't want to get eliminated. Trent obeys his orders and even throws the challenge for him. Courtney wants immunity, and at elimination, Justin says he kept true to his promise and Beth is eliminated. Episode 21 would have Owen returning, and during the first part of the challenge, Trent would win. During the second part, Lindsay would win, and during the final part, Courtney would win. Trent would go to Harold and tell him that he wants Justin gone, and Harold would agree. Harold would say that after last challenge, he's just gonna view us as stepping stones to have Courtney. Justin overhears this and gets Lindsay to vote for Trent at elimination, but at elimination, Lindsay accidentally votes for Justin, eliminating him, and everyone really doesn't care besides Trent who tells him that he played a good game. Honestly, if he didn't bend over backwards to please Courtney, he would've enjoyed being in with him. Justin says he can respect that before leaving. Episode 23 and the campers would get special items from home and Trent would get the model train his grandfather gave him. Courtney would try teaming up with Lindsay, but Lindsay wouldn't do it as she doesn't like her. Trent would win the challenge surprisingly, but in all honesty it wasn't that tough when all he had to do was beat 10 seconds. Courtney would try begging Trent to let him stay, but Trent would say that this is just karma for getting Gwen out and at elimination it would be between Harold and Courtney and with the 3 to 2 vote, Courtney, you are out. Episode 24 and Harold picks the raccoon, Trent picks the chameleon, Lindsay gets the shark, and Owen picks the bear. After some time, Harold trains the raccoon the best, with Trent being second, Lindsay being third, and Owen just not really competing. During the second part of the challenge, Harold would end up getting immunity, as it's not really a fair competition for anyone who didn't get the raccoon. Chris would give Harold immunity, and Harold would reveal that Owen is a traitor. Chris would say that he was going to release Owen anyway, since the next challenge is the finale. Good work, Owen. Trent and Harold both vote out Lindsay in the finale's Harold vs. Trent. They both make it to the final vote, where the votes are as follows. Heather, Duncan, Lashana, Beth, and Courtney would vote Harold, while Jeff, Bridget, DJ, Gwen, Justin, Owen, and Lindsay would vote Trent, making him the winner of Total Drama Action. 
Gwen and Trent would share a kiss while Harold would hug Lashana and he tells her he forgives her, wrapping up total drama action. But what did you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Question of the week, would you have preferred Trent stay with Gwen? Why or why not? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and make the day yours.